Hey, this is Toto Bravo, and we've got something old but new on the table here today. Something that I've taken the time to uh, do a little restoration on. We have a New Haven model 495 made by Mossberg and Sons, chambered in 12 gauge, um, capable of shooting two and three quarter and three inch shells. Uh, this also has a um, full choke uh, barrel on it. Uh, these models here, this particular model, this 495, was made in the years 1964 and 1965. I was given this shotgun many years ago by a family member who has passed since, and it was in uh, really rotten shape. And I put it away and never really paid any attention to it, many, any mind to it, uh, as sad as that may be. Sat in a crate for many years, many more years. And uh, it was covered in rust. Um, the stock was heavily damaged. So uh, I took a little time. I uh, used a little steel wool and oil and such on the barrel and got the majority of the rust off of the barrel. There were many splits in the stock that needed to be attended to. Several in the front, some on the bottom here some across the back, some others in the middle of the uh, of the uh, magazine well here. Press those with Gorilla Glue, wood glue, as well as putting a bolt in here, as you can see, and the nut on this side with a washer. And what I was able to do was uh, glue the inside of the stock here on the crack, both on the top and the bottom, and then draw it in on itself uh, using that. So that's why you see the uh, the wood putty here. Otherwise, you would just see a bolt and a, a bolt head and a washer. So we haven't uh, sanded that and stained it yet. So the stock was pretty beat up. The, uh, the gun itself was in pretty rough shape. The bore is in very good shape, though. I was very fortunate there. The bolt was rusty, but everything functions. Uh, I do have a magazine on order that hasn't arrived yet. So... Once I get the magazine this week, the gun will be complete, and then we will transition uh, to the range to do uh, a range visit and functionality. And I'm, what I'm really interested to see is how it uh, how it groups these two three-inch turkey loads out on the range. Uh, you know, we'll start at 10 and work our way out to 30 just to see where we are on paper. But uh, it would be kind of neat to see how this uh, patterns this old New Haven 12 gauge shotgun made by Mossberg and Sons. So I wanted to share that with you. We'll do a drive by. So that's the front of the barrel there, kind of beat up as you can see. She has been road hard and put away wet on probably more than one occasion. She's not the prettiest thing. I'm hoping she functions well. I've never had a bolt action 12 gauge shotgun. It's very basic looking. There's the bolt there. Safety on the rear, the bolt. This is the rear sight here, it's fixed. And then just a bead on the front of the barrel there. And then we'll come around to the other side of the stock. And the bottom. Once we get the magazine, it will be complete. One neat thing here, and let me get a rest and I'll show you, is uh, the action of the bolt here. If you watch, the whole rear of the bolt rotates, locks, and then you bring it out. You'll notice there's no locking lugs on the front of the bolt. Everything is on the back here. Uh, let me the bolt and I'll show you. There's the locking lugs there. So it locks at the back of the rifle. It's a hefty bolt. So you put it in sideways like this, line the extractors up, the ejectors, the extractors, correct me, I'm sure I'm wrong. Seat it in, lock it into place, pull the trigger. Cycle it. The trigger, funny enough, 
there's a solid wall right off the bat as soon as it's cocked if you can see here you're right up against the wall and then it fires so there is no slop in the trigger very stiff trigger sorry for all the shake today you hear the water draining in the uh washer in the background there this is uh, nothing but the best man high for high end production here so this is our new haven model 495 chambered in 12 gauge and uh just wanted to give you guys a quick look at it i didn't want to bore you with all the restoration work there's enough videos out there folks restoring their guns and i am by no means uh even moderately good at it uh did the best i could and hopefully it holds together like I said, I'll have to sand these down a little bit, put some stain in there so at least it blends in just a little. So this is Toe 2 Bravo, and uh, I guess that's enough yapping about the introduction. Let's get it out to the range. <laughs> 